On the rear side, we're going to cut this open in a slanted position. So you're going to select the Y, the ZX plane in sketch. Just create a line from where this starts and it just cuts across. Then extrude it using mirrored extent. You can select say 600 millimeters Select OK. Hide the sketch. And we're just going to split. Split 11 using the new extrude. We can hide the extrude surface. And we can just copy this. And paste it here. right and I still I still feel like I should bring it a, a bit closer which is just go to the side view edge loop propagation move it a little bit closer exit then this sketch, sketch three, reduce the gradient like so. All right, and then we can create a boundary here, a plane which is through planar curve offset the plane let's say 240 then intersect split 24 with plane 3 create another plane which is parallel through point we can select the XY plane through this point So we can create another intersection here. By splitting this using the plane. And splitting this curve using the plane. That should be the other side. Then just create a line from point to point. Geometry on support. Repeat. From point to point, geometry on support. And we can use that join to split the wing. So we're going to split, split 24 using a join of these two split curves and these two lines let's see which one is not lying on the body line 2 should be geometry on supports line 1 Line one is okay. So that was the problem. Okay, split. 
split 24 using a join select the four curves keep both sides going to copy the material again because I like to keep track of which which split was which using color and then I can just hide this for now this one we're going to offset one a bit lower and another one will be the one that we are going to to project upwards for the uh, wing which is lifted up so we can select offset this surface let's say 15 millimeters oh sorry we're going to remove this let me do it again offset this 15 millimeters Let's try 10. Okay, 10 is fine. Or alternatively, instead of offsetting, let us translate. Let us translate it as it is in the Z component. 15 millimeters that is negative 15 millimeters so it goes downwards actually let's try 25 okay And then the other one, the other one will lift it up all the way to this position, but that will be after we create this geometry right here. Okay. We can create some, you can create the edge fillet right now or afterwards. So you just uh, select edge fillet. We start with the bottom ones. So this one. And this one, let's try 30. Let's see. We can adjust later on because I think uh, it was a bit more and then once again for this edge and this edge party or 20 
the first one the first one we're going to select minimal instead of tangency so that uh, it goes to one side more than the other then I'm going to try 70 okay you can give this it's the same black color so we can now do the housing for the wing so this one we can just create uh, the profile for the hollow part and then some guide curves then we're going to use multi-section surfaces to connect them all right so i can hide split 28 and translate one then sketch the z explain create a profile from this point to that point add a corner might want to pull this downwards a little bit like so exit sketch the zx plane again up to that point add a corner then we're going to constrict these ones to the same level so I select this point and this point and then make the vertical measure to be zero okay and then I'll do the same for this other one can reduce this radius then select this point and this point and again the vertical measure is going to be zero exit need to reduce this some more okay i'm going to redo this going to redo it and hold on let's check the geometry it seems there's some points left so this point delete and delete start the profile again Let's do the constraints first. Vertical measure zero. Okay. 
okay then a corner like so that's much better create a plane parallel through point the reference is the xy plane and this is a point then sketch select ellipse make it coincident with this point as well at this point and exit the workbench 